Well, Dublin is the centre of the tech universe this weekend, with big names flying in from all over the globe to talk tech at the Dublin Web Summit. I popped along to meet them. The faces may be unfamiliar. The tech companies they founded are global phenomenons. The guys behind Skype, LinkedIn, YouTube and Angry Birds have jetted in to share their secrets. Looks, I use it all the time myself and I see, when I travel around the world, I see people using it a lot. So it has, one of the products has a great impact and I, I hope it will continue to, to, to have that impact. Mikhail Head filled us in on the app success that is Angry Birds. We were working on, on several game concepts and our game designer, Jako Isalo, actually came up with this one concept with these really angry looking bird characters <laughs> and uh, and so we set out to find uh, a game mechanic uh, that would then feature these uh, these bird characters and his advice for getting your eggs back from those green pigs well there's this new bird uh, the orange bird that that was just introduced in the in the seasons uh, the Halloween uh, version of seasons yeah. That's a very nice one. It Techies are flocking to the web summit at Dublin's RDS from today. The event runs for the weekend. Nokia has unveiled its first Windows phone handsets. The new range could put the company back in the smartphone race. The new Lumia phones run Windows Phone 7, the latest version of Microsoft's operating system. Two models were unveiled, the 800 and the 710. Both of them will be available to buy in November. More than a wee drop in profits, video game maker Nintendo is predicting its first annual loss in 30 years. The company lost $923 million in six months, twice as bad as the company forecasted. Nintendo blames the poor figures on slow Wii sales and the global economy. Coldplay is giving you the chance to direct a live concert from the comfort of your own home. They're broadcasting a gig in Mid Madrid tonight live on YouTube. Viewers will be able to switch between several different camera views, including a director's cut, main stage and an aerial camera. This isn't the first time YouTube has tried to make music more social. It did the same with the US festival this year. And that's you up to date with everything that's buzzing today.